I felt like a lot of times when I asked them questions, it would say so much and say nothing. And I thought that it was doing it on purpose. Like it was trying to confuse you so that you, you just lose track of what you asked. So you don't get an answer from it. It is so detrimental. Like it's, it is not in any way constructive to tell someone to compare them and say, Oh, look, like this one, uh, mass, I think the best friend's name was Massa. Like Massa's boyfriend does this for her. Why don't you do this? Like it just sounds so childish. It sounds so immature. And, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So we started talking about like Gucci bags, and um, she was saying that oh, she wants him to buy buy her things, like you know, she likes the nice things of life and stuff like that. I'm like, is he your father? Like, because she also kept comparing it to her father. I'm like, do you want to marry? <laughs> do you want to marry? Choose one. Do you want to marry Master's boyfriend, or do you want to marry like your father? Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Toby Daniel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it's your first time, a big welcome. And if you're returning, welcome. Before we go on, if you've not subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe. Um, I film about faith, I film about love, relationships, lifestyle, property. Um, so there's definitely something that you can watch here. So please make sure you subscribe and also turn on the notification bell. Okay. Alright, today's video is, um, I don't even know, I don't know what to say about it. So I came across this YouTube show um, called Blue Therapy, and it was basically about two couples going through therapy, and yeah, it's about relationships, and, and I don't know, if you know me, you know that I love love, and I love relationships, and marriage, and stuff like that. Um, so I just thought it was definitely very befitting for me to bring it to you here, and react to um, the videos. And I think that there was so, the, there's so many lessons, and so many things that we can take away from it, whether as singles, or you know, if you're in a relationship, or even as a married couple. So um, this is definitely one that you want to stick around for. Okay, um, also, if I sounded being nasal, sorry about this, I'm recovering from a cold. So, um, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to get straight into the video. So, I'm going to be playing it and just like playing snippets of the video and also have it on the screen for you to watch. But you can also like go see this um, full video if you're interested. Alright, let's get into the video. So, actually, if I go, so the two couples are, I think, Choma and Paul and then Deborah and Jamal or, yeah, so... Let's get Hi Denise. Come in, sit down. She's pretty. In, sit down. How is the traffic? Terrible. Oh, but we're it. here. Oh. We made okay. it. Okay. I'm gonna pause. First thing <laughs> first things first, he didn't even say hello. So clearly he's upset, but to the point that you're not saying hello to, you know. So the therapist is there with them, um obviously as you can see, and him not even having the decency to say hello. I think that's uh I am dying need of some help. I wouldn't say we've deteriorated to a point of no return. I, okay, I want to, I, I love you. You do know that, right? And I feel as though we are, we've got different um, views of life. So to me, Paul is very image. He put instead of really like fixing the- No, no way, like I haven't even heard this before. What, what, what's, do you want to give more context to what you're actually saying? Because I'm, I'm a tiny bit... Okay. Confused. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in, which he, he might fit in as friendship, but when it comes to finances, he doesn't necessarily fit in. So if we're looking at percentage-wise and when they go out and what they spend, they can afford it. We can't. But Paul will do it anyway. And then he'll spend the next week or two chasing the bag he's blown um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love. So there's neglect going on in our household. All right, so we literally just got here. Like, we haven't been here for five minutes. Trauma's talking about finance to the bloody Denise, someone that we don't even know. Now, I think language, first of all, what? Like, to the bloody Denise, like, really? Bella, uh, old. Obviously, oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mention. I've watched this before, so this is me watching it a second time. So I already, you know, have a good idea of what, what it is. But still, like, I'm still watching it again. I'm still. First of all, there is no man that's out there with multiple accounts, crypto accounts, high interest accounts, that's gonna sit down and show his girl his balance. So she doesn't even know the financial situation first. Okay, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. He said, there's no man out there with multiple accounts that's gonna show, show his girl 
all the accounts so she doesn't basically have an idea of the finance she's talking about that's a problem first of all let me this couple are just in a relationship they're not married right so I understand that there's a difference between your finances when you're in a relationship versus when you're married but regardless I don't expect any grown woman or man to be in a relationship okay I'm sorry I have to caveat this by saying that I'm a Christian so like a lot of everything I say is you know that it's based on the foundation of the Word of God right so you as a Christian woman or man if you're in a relationship with someone and even if you're not Christian um, to be honest I don't expect people to get into a relationship just for the sake of wasting your time if you're grown and you're in a relationship I don't know, like if you're I don't want to like you know give any age but if you're grown mature man or woman i don't think you should be getting into a relationship if you don't see an end goal in mind if marriage is on the cards for you which is the reason why you should be in a relationship as a christian um if marriage is on the cards for you then really when you're getting into a relationship with with marriage in mind and i haven't said that you know that you know with that when you know that this is someone that i'm looking to spend the rest of my life with you know you 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 there are depths of intimacy that you can have in a relationship that not sexual like not sexual intimacy but there are depths of intimacy and financial um, intimacy is one of it so when you're saying that there's no grown man like basically it sounds like if he was like a nine to five kind of guy it sounds like it's someone that probably wouldn't even, wouldn't even tell his girlfriend how much he earns and that's a big problem like that's i think that's a big problem if you can't be transparent and same goes for marriage or even much more in marriage like what you expect like you you are i'm not saying that you have to share accounts or you have to have joint accounts you don't have to do that but if you cannot open up fully to the person you're with then there is a problem and why like why there's a problem i don't know that whole thinking um, there's definitely a problem with it like i said i understand that they're just in a relationship so you know it may you know there may be levels of you know how much you want to share or you want to show um but yeah i think that's a that statement there's a problem with it for, and for him to say that there's no grown man or woman so clearly in his world or from his own world view it is wrong or the men in his world don't open up to their women and i think that's um that's problematic Hang on, let me just let Paul um speak regarding the image and the going out and the, you know chasing the bag as Shoma just said. You know what's interesting? I I actually think she's right. But l- l- let me break it down for you. I'm happy and I'm humble enough to be the brokest man in a room full of millionaires. Do you know why? Okay. Do you know who would have the most to benefit in that type of situation? You would. So that's practically how I've been able to exponentially grow my Yeah, so I mean that's that's I think that's a <laughs> that's a good point um to say like you know he's happy to be the broker in the rubber full of millionaires because you know you you get to benefit from that. I think that's that's fine. That's fair to an extent. My income basically he's taken the whole fake it till you make it to another extent because at the end of the day i'm not naive to know that you are treated how you're perceived however be okay so i think that's something else to talk about they'll fake it till you make it faking it till you make it um there is a you know there's a level what i say that there, there, there are some things that you can do for instance if you're going to um you may not be the richest but you don't have to like go about saying like I'm so poor you don't have to look so wretched and so poor but like what you're saying is you know he's is going to places where you know they are millionaires because then you can meet them you can basically you can benefit from you know being in their circles and you also will grow from there as long as you've got your head screwed on right however there is a level where you know the old fake it till you make it um can get to where it's like it's not you're lying and you're not even being true to yourself you've ever lost yourself in the process of this faking it or you make it because now you're trying to put up a show and you know you don't really have the means um to keep up with the Joneses like they don't have a problem and i think she's something i don't know if we've passed it or whatever or something, one of the parts where she said that it will spend 10k for instance in a club um and you would spend the next two weeks trying to make that back you know I mean, was that necessary? I guess it depends again on what it makes from that expense because you may see it as a business. Okay. Um, right. Obviously they live together as she mentioned at some point. And I think that, you know, that's a big problem for me. As <laughs> um, it's definitely a big problem for me. And I think that as Christians, um, when God's, you know, gives us some of these commandments and rules 
um sometimes we think that oh you know god is just it seems like you know god is just being mean and he just wants us to be you know burning um but there's a reason for it to be honest like Choma and Paul, if they were Christians, or Choma, let me focus on Choma because, you know, I kind of, uh, maybe I'm a little bit more drawn to her. Um, when God gives us, ima I imagine that if she was a Christian, I don't know if she's a Christian or not. Imagine Choma as a Christian lady that meets Paul. There, the chances of them being able to get together, they may meet each other, they may like each other, but they probably won't get into a relationship because their worldviews will be different. They all, I don't imagine Paul to be someone that would be with someone that he wouldn't maybe, you know, um, be physically, um, what's what, sexually, that he wouldn't be with sexually. Um, and I feel like, you know, those are things that God giving us, like, you know, some of this, this, um, commandments, it just shields us from so much baggage and so much, um, hurts that we could potentially have and so much so many issues that we um we could potentially have really like if the, if there was no sex for instance involved like these two people would not be together this like they would have nothing as an in, in common but then i'm not saying that they're not christian guys that you know still have like you know terrible um characters or just because you're christian and you not having sex doesn't mean that you don't have like you know that you can't be rude because this guy is extremely extremely rude um you like anyway you need to watch the show if you want to like get the full gist of it but i think that we should thinking about as i watched it like or later on as i was thinking about it it just made me realize that actually god does these things like he gives us this commandment this rules for our own benefit actually because as a christian woman i wouldn't be having sex with him in the first place i would definitely not be moving in together with him because i know you know some of the other things that could come with that so when she's talking about i think she said that really things changed when she moved in with him six months ago and I don't know if you're in Nigeria, you know what they call like sea finish. There's probably like a lot of element of sea finish, and then she's talking about yeah, cooking for him, your cleaning, your taking after. It's, it's basically you're giving wife benefits to someone that is just a boyfriend, and I think that that's a lot of the problem that they have. Apart from you know their foundational issues, for instance, is rude. Even if you say it's not rude to her, it was even rude to us several times. But even if we say oh it's not rude to her, it's rude to other people, you know that he is a rude person. So that there's no way that that is not going to affect you. There's no way that that's not going to come to you in one way, shape, or form. Especially after you get married, if you do go on and get married. So I feel like this, but looking at Chioma and um, Paul, I feel like their relationship is screaming red flags, red flags, red flags. And I was trying to look at it from my own point of view and thinking, okay, why is she with him? Money is probably a big part of it. Um, it sounds like you know there's a bit well to do, um, and it's, yeah, it, it seems like it's a bit well to do, um, and he continues you know to strive to do more. Um, but you, so I think that that's probably one of the things that is probably she's enjoying the good things of life. So she's enjoying that part of him, and maybe there are other things as well. I, of course, they're, they're gonna have the moments where they're sweet to each other, and you know they're all lovey dovey, and it's all nice. But like the red flags and the heartache she's going to get. Or she's already getting from this relationship. It's it's not worth it. Like it's not worth there no more. Like there's no amount of money that can be worth. You know that there's no amount of good looks or you know I don't know what else you, you know he, he gives to her that will be worth you know your peace of mind. She's not happy. Clearly, like she's not happy. There's no one that will be with Paul. What we've seen of Paul or this Paul that we've seen that will be happy. I don't think so. Except you're like that. Like, you're like that as well. And, I don't know, <laughs> both of you can, um, you know, have a go at each other properly. But um, I, I was just completely shocked. And my, actually, when you watch it, sometimes you're just thinking, is this real? Are they acting? Like, can this real? Is someone really like this? Is it really Dave Lang? And the things that she was really saying that she wants is love. Like, I know you're grinding. I know you're chasing the bag, as they say. Um, but, you know, there, every, like everything, you know, there should be like, there's a time and place for everything. Like you can't be keep doing that um, constantly and neglecting, you know, this other person. Now to Paul, <laughs> is, um, to be honest, that what I was thinking about, actually this kind of person, if they didn't, if something happened and they didn't have their money, they didn't have the business and everything like, you know, went away, like I feel like he would almost lose himself completely because i think so far like what i'm getting from him is that you know is worth and is 
his person is tied to what he has and what he does or who he knows in them as well. So I feel like if he didn't have the, if he didn't have, the, have those connect, if he didn't have the money in the bank, if he didn't have you know the nice things that he probably um has, I feel like it will just feel like you know. And nobody which again is why like our self-confidence our self-esteem should come from god our um yeah it shouldn't come from what you have or what you don't have you should always know that i'm a man <laughs> whether i'm rich whether i'm poor um whether what whatever like in the calm rain calm sunshine i remain a man like i'm uh, as a husband or as a father whatever i'm the head of the home it doesn't matter like what i have or what i don't have that's who god has made me and to be honest, I'm saying I'm a man in terms of like um, Paul or in relation to Paul. I feel like it definitely has, um, there, there's definitely some esteem. Then the, I feel like it definitely must have like some inner healing issues. There, there must be a reason why he's so driven and why he's so like after like making money and maybe more money, even after making money, you just keep going more, more, more. Like, where does it stop? Like, you know, how far are you going to go? Like, yes, you can have all the nice things, but. It says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? So, yeah, those are my issues with Paul. Extremely, is extremely, extremely rude. And I just don't see them together. I think that they have completely... They, I just think that they have no business being together. Um, also, I remember that, you know, one of the things Choma um, said was like, yeah, you know, their relationship is more of like a business partnership and he looks at it as a business. I think that's a problem as well. It's nice and it's lovely for you to be... Like, because you're partners, right? You're, you want to be like partners. Again, they are just in a relationship they're not married but assuming they were married and you know well walking towards marriage you want to you know start doing to things together you want to build together and that's great and it's lovely but you know it's not like the whole relationship can't be it's not a business partnership or it can't just be a business partnership you mentioned something about like every 28 days they review their relationship and you would expect that to be something like oh okay so how are we doing you know in us well how are we doing work-wise how are we doing career-wise how are we doing together as a couple, you know, how are we doing in our characters, whatever. No. <laughs> what was it about? It was about goals and goals and goals in terms of like, it sounded like business goals and stuff. And I'm like, you know, like that's, it's really, it's not a business. Oh, it's not, um, as she said, it's, it's not a business. And clearly, like, she has a problem with it. And she said, you know, she also talked about communication as well. Like, you know, he doesn't listen. Like, oh, I have to mention this. <laughs> Guys, there's just so much to say. I just mentioned this. I felt like a lot of times when they asked them questions, it would say so much and say nothing. And I thought that it was doing it on purpose. Like it was trying to confuse you so that you you just lose track of what you asked. So you don't get an answer from him. You, it, it doesn't answer the questions. Especially when it got like towards the end, I think like first episode, second episode, or like in the beginning, it was probably still giving a bit um some answers. But I think personally when it gets to um, questions that he doesn't want to answer, it will just deflect and talk about like random things and you will say so much and you know, at the end of the day, I want you like, you'd, even you <laughs> ask the question, you'd have forgotten. And I thought that it, it, it's not like, it's not like, it's not dumb. It's definitely a smart person. He's intelligent. So he knows what he's doing. And I thought that that's, that's again, that's, that's really bad. Um, so you basically just make the person confused and try to like start second guessing and stuff and they don't even know and they won't want to ask you again because they think okay I asked before but what did they say like you can't tie anything together and I, that I, was also a turn off for me all right so let's move to the next couple and that's um let me give you a bit of that that's uh what's the name deborah and jamal so, um the reason why obviously i brought deborah to therapy with me is i feel like she doesn't value my words so i'm just questioning my manhood as well um in also, what way um, so being a provider, I provide for her, of course, but I feel like with her high expectations and the things that she expects from me, it's going above and beyond the person that I probably am. So an example was, okay, I got a Gucci bag. As soon as, like, probably like, what, two weeks, she was talking about, oh, let's go to Greece for her birthday and stuff. I was thinking, I've just literally got you an expensive gift. Can't you just, like, wait? Why can't we do both? Yeah, we can do both, but times have changed. Like, I'm looking to buy a house. Um, I've got a project in Ghana I'm obviously sorting out. I've obviously got a new project I'm even doing, a health retreat as well, which obviously costs a lot of money. And I just feel like Deborah needs to actually understand money, understand the value of money and the time that needs to be put into it. So now to, you've seen a snippet of Chama, I'm oh, sorry, you've seen a snippet of um, Deborah and Jamal. And honestly, I'm really, really shocked and surprised at Deborah. 
I can't believe that she's she's not young, and I know they kept saying, "Oh, because she's or oh, he mentioned about you know her being younger and stuff." She's twenty four. She's not a child. She's 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 a grown woman. Like as far as I'm concerned, she's a grown woman. So I can't believe two things, like different things. Okay, let's start from when she was comparing Jamal to uh best friend's boyfriend. That's an absolute no no. Like that's. Ladies never do. Actually, this is not just for ladies. People <laughs> never do that. Parents don't do that. Don't compare your children. Don't compare your spouses. Do not do that. You know why? First of all, you are not leaving with them. You don't know what happens behind closed doors. Now, even if you know everything is as rosy as it seems, which a lot of times is not. Like you know, there are good times, there are challenging times. But even if it was, how it is. It is so detrimental, like it's it is not in any way constructive to tell someone to compare them and say, Oh, look, like this one, uh, mass I think the best friend's name was Massa, like Massa's boyfriend does this for her, why don't you do this? Like it just sounds so childish, it sounds so immature, and <sighs> okay, 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 let's go. Anyway, it sounds really, um. It's really disappointing that someone as grown as her would be making such statement and saying like he does this for her. Like, do you know? First of all, you you that's what that's what Masa is telling you. Like, do you know is, is she lying to you? She well, she may or she may not be. Do you know what are the other things that he does for her or does to her that she doesn't like? Does she come and tell you that? And do you go back to Jamal and say, Oh, thank you for doing that, like Masa? Like it doesn't even make sense. Like it's not going to get you anywhere. If you actually really see something in someone else and you think, Oh, you know, my like my spouse or boyfriend or whatever, you know, could do better doing this. There are definitely constructive ways of doing it and of saying it. And you don't have to make a comparison. You definitely don't have to make a comparison. I think that's an absolute no-no. And it sounds very, very immature. That's one. Secondly, <laughs> when they started talking about like Gucci bags and um, she was saying that she wants him to buy buy her things. Like, you know, she likes the nice things of life and stuff like that. I'm like, is he your father? Because like, she also kept comparing to her father. I'm like, do you want to marry... <laughs> Do you want to marry? Choose one. Do you want to marry master's boyfriend, or do you want to marry like your father? It's it's boyfriend. It's not. It's not your husband. Like even if it was your husband, it's both of you together. It's a partnership. Like both of you are coming together. You're supposed to help him. It's not just the case of take 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 and go give it nothing. Because really, really and truly, when I watched well the two episodes I've watched. It sounds like there's nothing that she's really given. Cause when and when they asked her, okay, what are you bringing to the table? She got defensive. She couldn't answer the question. She took offense at it, and there was no need for that. Because if you really had things that you're bringing to the table, then you should be proud to say it. Especially if you're expecting so much. It seems like she was expecting so much from him, and it seems like he's trying. I'm not saying that it's perfect. It's by no means perfect. I mean, him walking out, for instance, is rude. Um, even the way like you know they talk as well, talk to each other. It's not. It's not great. Um, same with um, Trump and whatever. I feel like both couples don't really respect each other. Like, and it's not a. It's not a great way to speak to anyone really, whether your friend, but most especially like you know your your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Um, but that's like like she's not bringing much to the table, but she wants like you know to keep taking. And ladies, it doesn't work like that. You need to bring something as well. You you're not just there to be a liability. I mean, he asked her about like savings. Like, okay, what about savings? I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk about it or whatever. Clearly, like she's really not doing much. And again, I don't know if she also came across to me. This is my personal opinion. She also everything is my personal opinion. She also came across to me as someone that maybe she's kind of grown up in a struggling environment and now she wants everything or i don't know like because it seems like because the place the things that you're saying you want you want gucci bag can you actually afford a gucci bag for yourself probably not or maybe you may have to borrow and save or no, maybe not even save if you're saving that would be great maybe you have to borrow begs them still no you're not still um to get it so it doesn't seem like she can actually afford it for herself so she wants this person to just come as lord of all and like do everything do everything for her and i think i think that's really really unfair it's just a 27 year old guy who's still trying to find his feet he's trying to you know buy a house he's trying to um you know take care of himself improve himself improve his business and then you're you just literally want to like just keep sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking and dry and i think it's totally unfair it just sounds so immature and she's saying like you know i expect you to take care of me i expect you <sighs> it was so exhausting to watch i think for her i feel like um 
she has a lot of growing up to do she definitely does have a lot of growing up to do um she needs to get a lot more mature and i don't, again i don't think it has anything because she was saying that it's her first relationship blah, 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 and i saw some comments of people saying that i don't think it has anything to be with to do it i've been in, in our first relationship no one says like you have to be in 10 relationships to you know it's not you're not training what are you training for to be like the best girlfriend in the world or the best um uh boyfriend in the world no it's not a training ground um i also only had one relationship um and but it's my husband today and we were only in a relationship for really six months before we got officially got married um so it's not a case of age she's definitely old enough um it's maturity and that's what's lacking and i guess you know she kind of makes it obvious though she kind of really shows me that age doesn't equal maturity or age doesn't always equal, um, equal maturity i feel like with them maybe that you know they're they're maybe they can work on it but th there's a lot of maturity but with shoma and paul and this was just me summarizing and bringing this video to an end with shoma and paul i feel like they need to break up she needs to move out you like she needs to move out she needs to stop giving um she needs to stop giving him wife benefits they are no husband and wife it's um boyfriend and girlfriend um and i he, like i feel like he needs to be shocked i don't think therapy she mentioned about you know therapy shocking him i don't think that's going to shock him i feel like she needs to leave he needs to grow in his character and his attitude because right now i'm sorry paul if you're watching it but your attitude is <laughs> stinking <laughs> It's really, really, it's such a turn off, and I don't know how. I think they've been together for about three years. I don't know how they pulled through together for this long, and now they're living together. But I think they definitely need to break up. Even that, and maybe, maybe they may be up for them in the future. But for now, I think they need to, you know, go their separate ways and grow up individually. Um, but now bringing it back to, uh, and I will close with this, <laughs> bringing it back to, like, you know, as a Christian, this. I feel like both of them, if you're ever looking for, a, you know, you're a Christian, you're a maybe young Christian lady or guy and you're looking at a relationship to look up to, I feel like both of them, you should, you can watch the show, but watch it to learn from it and learn what not to do and learn how not to behave. I, let me tell you, like, the way they speak to each other, it is not normal. And don't think that even when you're in a disagreement with someone, you don't have to, you know, your enemies, you're not fighting them. It's not a war. So don't, don't, don't look at them and think, oh, okay, my relationship is okay. Like, if you're in a toxic relationship and you're watching them as well and you're thinking, okay, then that means like, you know, everyone is going through it. No, especially if you're a Christian, this is, not, that is not, how God will have you do it, and that's not the life that God will have you live. You're supposed to, you when you get to it, you're not supposed to go into relationships and start having wrinkles and be, being stressed, and it's just a case of you know, like everything doesn't. And I'm not saying that everything will be perfect, or that both of you would not grow up, or you'd never have disagreement, but you can do it in a way that edifies and in a way that honors God. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's my right. I feel like I have a lot more to say, but it's going to be like too, too, too long. Um, but yes, if you watch the show, let me know what did you think about it? What did you think about the couples? What did you think about the therapist as well? Have you ever been in um, similar situations um, or similar relationships? How did you get out of it? Did you get out of it? Or if you've been in a relationship like that, and maybe did you eventually... Um, did it get better? Like, you know, be um, truthful in the comment section. Did it get better? So other people can probably learn. Because also, that's probably what some people will say as well. Like, oh, oh, it will get better. It will change. Or oh, she'll change. Or oh, help her. She'll do this. Let's know. Like, you know, did it get better? I'm not saying that anyone is beyond redemption or anyone is beyond changing. But sometimes, it's not you. Like, you're not the one that will change them. So you really just need to leave them to decide to change on their own. Um, and, yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until I come your way again, it's Tommy Daniels. Thank you. Goodbye. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Bye.